And, and so in John 13, it opens up how, how Jesus serves his disciples. He almost, almost lays aside the kind of majesty of his position as king of all the universe and begins to wash their feet and says, you should do this to each other as I've done it to you. Mm. Um, so I was hugely inspired by that. I mean, have you got any reflections on that, that yeah. uh, chapter? Well, one point uh, for now would be to say that when Jesus does that, when he comes as a servant, he's not pretending that God is a servant. He's not disguised as a servant, but he's actually revealing the very nature of God as yeah. this self-giving lover mm. who's, uh, in the ancient church, they would call it his self-donation. Mm. He's just pouring himself out as love into the world. And that uh, uh, that's not what we expected of God. We've, we'd expected the super empire emperor in the sky and you know the one that throws lightning bolts around and so on and here he is wearing a towel mm. washing feet and saying actually this isn't a brief holiday from heaven this is how heaven happens mm. in this absolute uh the god god the suffering servant um who has always been a servant right from creation mm. it's such a gift of of himself that he would do this for us and make space for what we call authentic otherness, that he'd, he'd actually even allow us to resist his love. But by nature, love is, is consensual, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So rather than coming as the all-powerful coercive God, he comes as this, this uh, suffering servant lover God who uh, is more powerful than we thought because love can actually win your heart. Mm -hmm. And it's won my heart.